Hi, Jimmy Blakeney here, Paddle Sports and Board Sports Instructor and Product Designer for Isle. In this video, we are going to be talking about paddling technique and specifically paddling technique related to hybrid paddleboard kayaks. You might be asking yourself, well, why does that matter, Jimmy? Well, it's because when we're on these hybrids, we are paddling as in the sit down position, like in a, as a sit on top kayak and also standing up. So we want to talk a little bit about the general techniques related to paddling, regardless of whether you're standing or sitting. So we talk about board or boat, body and blade, your paddle. Those are the three components, okay? Your board, body and blade and how they're interacting with the water. That's really everything that's happening when you're out here, all right? And you gotta think about those different pieces and how they're working together or not, and that's gonna influence how efficient you are, how much fun you have, how comfortable you are when you're out on the water. All right, so a couple key tips when it comes to our body. I wanna have an upright posture, whether I'm sitting or standing, right? So I want a nice upright posture. I don't wanna be hunching forward like this, and also, if you wanna paddle and get somewhere, you wanna have this upright position. You can certainly adjust your seat and lounge like this and paddle along leisurely, no problem with that. But that is not gonna be the most efficient way for you to paddle and get somewhere if you're looking to get to a destination. You wanna tighten up that seat, get yourself in a nice proper position. Um, the next thing about our body is bracing our feet. So, a kayak seat on these hybrids is great, but it is really only part of the equation. You need something to brace your feet on because that's what presses your lower back into the seat. It provides comfort and support, and it also allows you to then engage your core muscles, right? So when I'm paddling, I'm able to actually brace my feet and press and use these muscles in my core instead of just my arms and shoulders. So that's our body. When it comes to the actual board or boat, um, the key there is that we just want to make sure that we've trimmed it out properly, right? So in this case, uh, proper trim is gonna be where my board or boat is sitting flat. I don't wanna be stern heavy, where my seat is too far towards the tail or stern, and I don't wanna be nose heavy where I'm too far towards the nose. That's gonna give my board or boat the optimal performance on the water for efficiency. Okay, finally, blade. When it comes to our blade, um, we want to have our elbows bent about 90 degrees, right? So that's how wide we're going to hold our paddle, whether we're paddle boarding or kayaking. So that applies in both cases. And another key thing about the blade is, before I take a stroke, I'm going to plant the blade fully in the water, all right? So I see a lot of people, they splash the water or they just dip their paddle in the water a little bit. I want to plant the blade fully before I apply force, okay? When I plant that blade fully, that lets me actually use the blade to its maximum potential and it also provides a lot of stability when you're out on the water, right? So if I'm slapping, the paddle is not really help providing support. When it's fully engaged, I'm using the full paddle, I'm getting the full power and I'm also actually adding stability to uh, my position when I'm out here on the water. So those are a couple of the key things, board, body, blade, that you need to think about when it comes to paddling technique, whether you're standing or sitting down. Um, these hybrid paddleboard kayaks are great because they allow you to do both on the water. We have a bunch of other videos talking about uh, some of the pros and cons and other details around these hybrids. Um, if you have any comments, check them out below and make sure and check out our other tips and tricks specifically for hybrid paddleboard kayaks in our other videos. That's it for this video and we'll see you out on the water.